What's going on, Neverwinter? It's Frank, and it's, uh, in this video here, we're going to be talking about praying, um, why you should be doing it, and how often you should be doing it. Um, a lot of people already know about the praying system in Neverwinter, but a lot of the new players probably overlook it because they don't think it's that important. So this video is going to go over all the reasons you should pray on all the characters available. But before we get into that, one quick announcement. On my Twitter, I have a poll. For those who are new to this channel, once we hit 1K, I told you guys I would do a Legendary Mountain giveaway. So the available days I have for that are the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. So please either go to my Twitter and participate in the poll or let me know in the comments below what date out of those three you want to see it. So I know a general idea of what you guys want to see, what day. All that good stuff. And I will be making this announcement every video leading up to that giveaway. So, you're going to hear it quite often. I want to get the, the word around and let everyone know how to participate in that. So, my link for Twitch and my link for Twitter will both be in the description below. Along with my gamer tag if you guys want to add me. So, with that being said, let's get into the actual video. Alright, so once you hit level 11, you're going to be given a quest to go do your first round of praying. Your first pray. You go here, you talk to these people, these NPCs. They're going to tell you uh, how to pray. So if you notice up the top right, you're going to see the icon. You pick this icon when you create your character. Uh, the icon pretty much means nothing. It gives you a tad bit of backstory, but that's about it. Other than that, it has no effect on what you're doing, how you're doing it, or anything about praying. It's just an icon that lights up. At the top right. So what you want to do is you want to hit left bumper and right on the directional D-pad. You're going to see a bunch of stuff. You're going to get experience. You're going to get rough astronomical bonus. You're going to get an ardent coin, celestial coin, and invocation blessing. And you may say, Frank, well, none of that's kind of relevant, but it is. So as you see here, there are 15-minute intervals, and then they hop up from 15 minutes to 30-minute intervals here. Each section of praying grants you the following um the astronomical bonuses which is pretty good if you are trying if you're trying to get your ad bonus um the blessings are nice because they give you a bonus celestial bags and the experience so hindsight you're going to say none of that is too relevant but we're going to go over the steps the first and most important thing are the coins so and again, a lot of you guys are going to know this, so just bear with it. Coffer of Celestial Enchantments and Coffer of Celestial Artifacts. These here will grant you a chance to get a Coal Ward for free. Bounty the account, but it's more or less for free. What happens is every 11 coins, you get to open one of these. Me personally, I open the Celestial Artifact. Not only do you have a chance to get a Coal Ward, you have... Prez Ward's in here, and you have Random Refinement. The chances of you getting a Cold Ward, to be honest with you, aren't great. But if you're praying on 15 characters a day, every, you know, 11 to 7 days, or 11 to 6 days, you're going to get, you know, these coffers. And, to be honest with you, they are worth getting. They're worth participating in. I, myself, have one sitting here. Celestial Coffer. And as you see here, it contains one of the following Enchanting Stone 3, 4, 5, and one of the following Prez, Peridot, or Colward. Most of the time, you're going to get Peridots. And they are bound, so you can't really do much with them. So we're going to open this and see what we get. Peridot and a Rank 3. Again, it's not a lot of refinement, but the whole premise is to give you a chance to get a Colward. Prez Ward's new stack. So they are nice too, but the premise is you're going to want to get a cord. So let's go back to the little thing. So you get an Ardent Coin and a Celestial Coin with the first prey. And then down here at the last prey, 
you get a celestial coin. So you have the option to get two celestial coins on each character per day. So it's only going to take you six days to get a coffer. If you're doing a full round of praying on the character. With that being said, some people will set timers. Some people will set whatever. Some people have methods that say, hey, it's time to pray. I'm going to go pray on all my characters. So... The biggest one is the Celestial Coins. Now, the Ardent Coins are important, too. So, Ardent Coin grants you some of the potions, a couple of the uh, Transmods, this White Horse, which is kind of irrelevant, the Celestial Grace die is kind of irre irrelevant, and the Angel Protection is kind of irrelevant. So, with that being said, the biggest thing to profit, or the biggest thing you need from here, are the elixirs the biggest one here is the wild storm a stack of 99 cells for about 30k so if you're praying and you're buying these you can you can make ad or you can use these for your dps classes if you would like there's obviously some other ones if you would like to use them for um supports you can do that as well me myself i buy the wild wild storms i'll use a stack of them and then i'll start stacking them on my alts and then when i hit a stack of 99 i will sell them for for ad you can do it however you want if you want to save up for some transmods you can if you want to buy some wildstorm elixirs or some other elixirs you can me personally i'll go with wildstorm so now that we've talked about ardent and celestial coins and what to do with them and why you should pray we're going to be talking about the other benefits coming along with that. So back to this. You're going to get a Celestial Bag of Refining. Now these are very important for not only refinement, but for the coupons that come along with said opening bags. So as you hear, I've accumulated a bunch of these so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, opening these will grant you refinement. Also, opening these will grant you a coupon as you see there 33 percent off any fighter companion now you can make some profit off of these coupons there's a lot of coupons in there from 33 percent off x companion or 40 percent off key or 30 percent off of uh <clears throat> services or anything like that as you see here uh there's 25 percent off a pack if you're trying to get a pack in the uh auction house there is another 25 percent off pack a lot of paradots 20 percent off of any pack again 20 percent off any refinement item so on and so forth so as you see here these coupons will stack i know one of the biggest one before the change in the mods was the uh the campaign the the coupon to get the uh tire you could buy it for 33 percent off off of the auction resell it for profit those are probably still here. There's there's probably benefits and probably come ups from these coupons, but go in and see what you can do because these 25% off packs are pretty good. So just save these, save them until you need to actually buy something, because you're not going to get a lot of refinement from these. However, you're going to get good coupons because one of the biggest events in Neverwinter is the coupons that happen on the Jubilee event. So um, these will expire. So you do have a limited time to use these. That's why you hold the Celestial Bags until you need one of the coupons. And again, some of the refinement is going to be bound to the character that you get. So there's no point of holding it because you probably shouldn't need any of these Enchanted 3s or 4s. But if you do, by all means, stack them and hold them. So now that we talked about the Ardent Coins, the Celestial Coins, and the Refining Bags, there's a couple other benefits for praying one you can level up characters because you do grant a small portion of experience i know some people in this game who have leveled up characters to 70 without doing anything besides praying obviously you have to get to level 11 first but once you hit a level 11 you can gain levels just by praying you don't even have to participate and the last thing, or second to the last thing, is the Invocation Blessings. Some of these are popped in the 
rotation with your potions. Some of them are just stacked here, and I use these as part of my potion rotation. Um, I do a superior flask of potency, a uh, watermelon sorbet, a wild storm elixir. If I'm feeling like I need to do more DPS, I will pop a prime rib. But these out of the out of the four here are the hardest to get, especially if you don't grind guild marks. And then I pop a uh, invocation blessing. And the only problem with the blessings is it doesn't print. It doesn't provide you with a good buff. Um, once in a while you'll get something that you need, but a lot of the time it's going to be uh, worthless stats. So you really don't need these. But however, it is something that you can pop during your potion rotation. If there's something you guys use instead of this, let me know. Um, as far as I know, I use these four here and then a invocation. I'm sure there's a better way to get more stats, but this is what I use when I do it. If you guys know a better way, let me know in the comments below. Um, some of the other foods that I'll, I'll use every now and then are the squash soup and the pumpkin soup because of the crit severity. And then the uh, summer feast is because eh, I just get them from the event, so I don't like selling them because I like to keep them and use them. But yeah, you can get a lot of these these three here from events, which is pretty good. And then this one here, obviously, you get from event two, but this is increasing my power by nine thousand six hundred and forty-four, which is pretty damn good. So with that being said, that's that. Uh, one last thing, and probably the least important out of the, f the topics that I've talked about, is the Astro Diamond bonus. So, for example, you can get the bonus for your characters, and you can start doing dungeons on your characters to get that bonus. However, some people don't do it that route. Some people just pray and forget about the Astro Diamond bonuses that you're gaining. That's fine. I don't pray for the bonus. I pray for the Celestial Artifacts, the Coffers in the coupons because that is where your savings is coming from and that is where your your most of your benefits is coming from the other topics are just to add on to why you should pray and how to go about doing so if i miss anything and the reasons to pray let me know in the comments below and if there's a video you guys want me to make out there that you haven't seen already please again reach out to me and i'll do my best to relay that information to you guys again don't forget twitter and or the comments below and participate thanks again appreciate the support and appreciate you guys watching peace